Hi, Adam Payne here coming at you from Japan with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video we're going to be looking at a plugin called WP Rocket or WordPress Rocket. Now this is a plugin which is not free unfortunately, you've got to buy it. I've recently started using this on all my websites. The reason being I found that a lot of my sites, especially the ones that had a ton of content on them, weren't loading particularly fast. I mean they weren't the slowest in the world but they weren't fast enough. Having a fast loading website is really important for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives a much better user experience. Research has shown that a lot of people will leave a website if it doesn't load quickly enough. It also makes your site appear more professional and it's one of a multitude of factors that are important when it comes to ranking your website. You need to have a website that is fast loading. Now if you're like me, completely non-technical, I just can't open up the back end of my website and start playing around with the code. I don't know what I'm looking at, it's all another language to me and if you can do that stuff that's great but I can't. So I was um, kind of told about this plugin and this is the sales page here, Made make WordPress load fast in a few clicks. And basically all you do is you purchase the plugin, I'll show you the price in a sec, um, you get access to it, you install it like you would any other plugin and then you configure it. And we'll talk about all that stuff in a second. So you can come down and read the sales page, but if you've got any other plugins on your site, for example there's one called W3 Cache which is a famous plugin for speeding up your site, I found that this particular plugin here, WordPress Rocket, is a thousand times better than that. Of course that's free, uh, this is paid. Um, and you can go, go, go and read through this, but it really is simple. You don't need to be techie or you know, understand code. You just install it, configure it, and bingo, your sites are really, really quick. Now, there are a few free ways you can test the speed of your site. They're all slightly different, but um, this is one of my pages on one of my sites. So if I go over here to Beers with Adam, which is one of the sites that I use to review stuff, look, I've got 301 episodes. So there's 301 posts that I've made. Forget about all the videos and graphic uh, images and pages on this uh, WordPress site. It's really heavy. There's a lot of stuff on here. Now, I've just had the site revamped to a much slicker and faster theme, but it was still not giving me the results that I wanted when I tried to check the page speed. So over here, this is one of my blog posts. There's no good checking just the, um, the home page. You want to check a post that's full of images and it's got videos and all that stuff on it. So you, you basically come to uh, JT Metrics. Um, site. I'll leave the link in the description and then you can analyze a URL. So you want to go and pick one of your posts or pages that you've got published and just plonk it in and it'll take you know 10-15 seconds to do what it's doing now. I've got um, Camtasia running recording this video so it's maybe takes a few seconds longer than it would do if I didn't have this running but in a second it's going to give me a report. So let's just hold on two secs. And there you can see here, page speed score is now A, it's 94%, and the average is 73%. Um, this one here, the average is 71, mine 75. This took 5.8 seconds to load. So basically, it's above average, and I've got this up from what was a D prior to having this plugin to an A. Now I'm going to go and grab the URL of a different site that I have. One second. Okay, so I want to cover up the URL a little bit because it's a niche site and they don't want to reveal it too much. But you can see here, look, page score, 96, 86%, only took 1.6 seconds to load. So this is a super, super fast site built on WordPress. Now, granted, this particular site does not have as much information. It's not as heavy as the site on my Beers of Adam site, but this is a super fast site. And this was page score C prior to me installing this plugin. So this has really helped me improve the speed of my site. Now if we go back to the main page, quickly take you to the pricing. Um, you can pay $49 to get it on one website, $99 for three, or $249 for the lot. Um, I've got a ton of websites, so if you're like me, you'll want to pick this up, which may seem a lot of money first off, but it's you, know, you can use it on as many websites as you want. You can use it on clients' websites, your friends' websites, all that kind of stuff. And it's a one-time purchase, and that's that. You get, and of course, you get support and uh, updates for a year. So with that being said, let me just take you inside of my beers site, and I'll give you an example of the settings that I've got. And this is just the ones that I've using. So mobile cache, enable caching for mobile devices. I've got that checked. 
Um, file optimization, all these are checked, all these are checked. Um, so pretty much everything is checked basically on that one. Uh, media, I do have another plugin called Smush, which I have the free version of that, which helps me optimize images. And I do put a lot of my newer images on this on this particular um, WordPress URL. I actually use Amazon S3 to host the images, but all my um, posts from before I didn't do that, including the one that I showed you, the page speed. So, you know, all of these are kind of checked. I don't check this for, M I want my embeds okay, so I don't leave these two checked. Uh, this one, all checked. Um, advanced rules. Okay, you can just kind of see there's not much going on there. If you may have completely different things for me, database, um, you can see it's all unchecked. Um, whoops, let's go to heartbeat. You can see that nothing really going on there. Um, image optimization. Okay, I don't use this Imagify, which is what they recommend. Maybe I should, but I don't. I use a different plugin. I'm not saying the other plugin's better. I just don't use it. And then there's tutorials and all the stuff on how to play around with it there. But it's a super simple plugin. So if you want to check more about this particular plugin, then there will be a link below this video if you're watching it on YouTube to the Beers with Adam review site where I'm going to um, elaborate more on this plugin. So you can go and check that out if you want. And if you do want to pick this up, um, there'll be a link below for you to grab it as well. And if you get it through the Beers with Adam website link, there may be a little bonus for you as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Having a fast website is really important. I understand if you've got a ton of content on your site, it may be a lot harder to get it faster than a brand new light website. But in any case, WP Rocket can definitely speed up and improve what you've got going on now. So thank you for watching this review. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you later. Take care.